No backyard knife, dude. You're not gonna do well. Jeepers. Alrighty then. I mean, give me. Help me. I broke it. Well, hi. How are you? Good to see you again. I got a message on Facebook because I, I messaged the Silver Stag people in reference to that knife on Facebook also. You know, the knife that I broke. This one. And then to make matters worse, I kind of like, you know, instead of sending it back or thinking about it, I kind of like went ahead and dissected it so you can't really tell you know what and you know Donovan he was like you know hey ask him anyway I said well yeah but see I kind of look at that this is my fault because I was whacking a concrete block with a knife but yesterday I got a wild hair up my butt which happens sometimes and I wrote an email this is no yeah this is the 16th and I sent it off to info at silverstag.com and I said I have two silver stag bowies the one you see in these videos the big bowie and a pacifica I say that I say there's a flaw in the tempering at the tank point I'll suggest that you at least make make the one half inch wide and thicker make the tang you know yeah let me know where I stand on this and I'll be doing a video on your reply. Do me right, I do you right. <sighs> That's kind of snotty, but... I said I'd take a huge one for the team, just wish the tang was as huge as the blade. It was like one quarter inch. And I sent a link to my other video. And then I sent a link dissecting the silver stag bowie, or as Her Eric Hussein would say, what did we learn? <laughs> huh. He wrote back, and the message that was sent on Facebook, Silver Stag Nice, he said, Hello, please see the email response from the owner and founder of Silver Stag, the SS team. I said, All right, well, this is going to be good. So this Brad Smith, he said, Hey, Ken, thanks for sharing I, a couple comments from the founder, designer, and active manager of Silver, uh, Silver Stag. When I first started making knives in my garage over two decades, they were rough, look, rough and looked more like a prison shanks. All that thought. What am I doing with my fucking glasses? I don't know. I laid them down. Here they are. Ugh. But they perform pretty good in the field. Every every year since, I have focused on consistently increasing quality, function, durability, and selection. A couple months ago, a customer returned a silver stag knife to get it cleaned and resharpened. This particular knife was... I keep checking this. I'm almost out of battery. And read faster. This particular knife was one of the original built in my garage 24 years ago. I was amazed somehow... I was amazed someone actually bought it. Because, man... It was ugly, <laughs> but the guy loved it and told me he, he, it had been on every hunt 
with him for over two decades. It was the best performing knife in his collection. Cleaning and resharpening that knife really made me realize how far Silver Stag has come in those early garage production days. A lot of blood, sweat, long hours, refinements, successes and failures, and I count my blessings for all these experiences endured along this path, this long and unlikely path. I don't read well to people. Anyway, I'm usually just one of those run my mouth and shit comes out. Now to address the good beating you did <laughs> to the Silver Stag 1095 hard carbon steel tool Bowie 10 inch Bowie, first we offer a limited lifetime warranty for all of our fixed blade knives. In short, if for some strange reason a Silver Stag broke under normal working conditions, we would fix or replace it at no charge. On the other hand, if one of our knives is abused outside the normal use boundaries, normal use, we would usually replace or fix at a discount. This is me talking about. See, that's why I just, I mean, it was my fault. And I can't really blame them for me abusing a knife and then saying, give me another one. It just didn't seem right, but I figured what the hell I'll try. I said, he said, you suggested that we make the tang larger, fatter, and make it stronger so that we have and we have tried that but then we were forced to use massive antler handles right, kind of like the Moellas so there's enough protection around the tank to prevent the antler from cracking under extreme stress in addition you compromise handle ba blade balance that said we feel the blade tang on this model is where it should be regarded as strength and keeping the knife fairly balanced and then he went on in the last paragraph. He said, I appreciate the test and the review. You did a great job. Please forward me your address so I can send you a new Silver Stag 10-inch Bowie. Regards, Brad Smith. Catalog and warranty card attached. Smith and Partners, LLC, 328 Martin Street, Blaine, Washington, 98230, and a phone number and a link. And I about fell off my fucking chair. I was like, huh. And Donovan, you were right. I mean, there's no harm in asking, but I just, like I said, I couldn't do it because, it was, I mean, it was my fault. You know, it's like if I, I buy these scissors and then I go, and I break them, and then I say, you owe me another pair. Um, and so that's why I was reluctant because, well, it's, it's my fault. I mean, I can't fault the manufacturer, but... He explained a lot, and that, that's a rarity. I mean, I, I still can't believe it. He just, so I forwarded my address. Wow. Huh. Well, I'm fucking impressed. <laughs> I'm speechless, and I told him I am. Huh. I ran back, I said, wow, so he replies the last thing I expect, and thank you. I do understand about the tang and then having a larger stack handle. My Muella knives are huge in the handle department. I and will blah, blah, in the handle department. I will surely reflect your ease of working with me on this in a future video. Wow. I gotta go. I'm very busy. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Oh, and the um, other Bowie, the 19 something or other from Kennesaw, the one that arrived broke. That's on its way back. Should be here tomorrow. Fucking A. Gotta go. Very busy. See ya.